Hello, my name is John Kenalopoulos. I'm a cornea and external disease specialist, and I'd like to show you in this short video the management of a keratoconus patient with a combination of topography guided, PRK, and collagen cross linking with uh, ultraviolet A irradiation and riboflavin. We just saw the Pentacam maps of this patient's keratoconic eye. We're using here 10% diluted alcohol for 20 seconds in order to soften the epithelium of this patient. We'll remove the um, alcohol. We're util utilizing a this a LASIK. alcohol device. We're removing here the epithelium, the softened epithelium at a 8 millimeter diameter. You can now see the reflection of Bowman's membrane in this uh, keratoconic patient and we will perform a limited topography guided treatment in this patient in order to normalize the abnormal surface of the cornea. You can see here the treatment plan by wave light it's a treatment focused mainly over the apex of the cone and a peripheral treatment, a peripheral treatment that resembles a hyperopic treatment away from the center of the cone that will steepen the area, the central area of the cornea that's next to the cone. The ablation is very short. We limit our ablation to maximum 50 microns and here we're using one minute of 2% mitomycin C in a wet wax hole sponge. Again, 0.2% mitomycin C for a full minute, followed by chilled BSS. The purpose for this limited topography guided ablation is to normalize the cornea and even though in some cases it may not be enough to make the patient emetropic, it will be enough to make the patient able to wear soft contact lenses or spectacles. We're watching here the chilled BSS. Our topography guided PRK is completed. And now we are going to cross-link the cornea with the use of 1% uh, riboflavin drops. We're seeing the riboflavin being placed here to soak the stroma and the prior vision UVA device. You can see here how this device is placed over the patient's head and over the cornea at a distance of two and a half millimeters UVA irradiation is used over the cornea for 30 minutes. This is the riboflavin solution adjustment of the distance of the UVA light from the cornea surface. The patient is laid on a position. The device includes an alarm that reminds every two minutes the placement of riboflavin onto the cornea surface. Here we're seeing the eye after the completed procedure, a bandage lens for four days with the use of antibiotic corticosteroid for a week and the corticosteroid for two months. We're seeing here now the patient postoperatively. Three months later, the cone has been reduced significantly. This patient happens to be 2025 uncorrected now. You can see in this comparison map before and after and the difference. The patient is stable for two years. We have published our experience with using these modalities with the collagen cross-linking being first and then the topography guided treatment. By combining them at the same procedure, we obviously minimize the patient's difficulty in coping with this problem and we propose this procedure as a way of temporizing keratoconus and visually rehabilitating these patients. Thank you very much for watching this video.